Hello guy, I uh, first thing I want to apologize um for that delay gameplay and for my bad gameplay. And uh, yeah, and I do wanna say take it with a drain of sock. So that was a leak about the Nintendo Switch. Um and that's what um other you know for the past a uh, year and for the past two year Nintendo and Air bought a team up to create crop play happen on game like Fortnite and Minecraft and to make a mini trailer to you know put for that um big boy Sony a uh, fanboy and yeah but um the rumor suggested that um the Nintendo Switch might get Xbox Live, Xbox Game Pass, and Ekra. Um, um, we know the Switch is a low hybrid console. It can't have the B game like Destiny or like Anthem or like COD or Battlefield or Division. We know it can't handle that. Um, so what about launching a game, launching? Crowd Bay Network on it. You got the controller, you got the good screen, you got the hardware to play it on. But what about. So. Bay in. So we. At bot. Um. We. Um. At Crowd. Um. What they're gonna be releasing sometime later this year. They might be releasing it on the Switch. Because Eggcry is releasing on PC, phone, tablet, and all the game console. And the two game console where I think it would affect it, the right, but one, or the, the Switch it did to be true. Mm, and let's just call the Direct Bot 2 Pro, because it a must be the console, the hardware. So, imagine it can run that. I ain't gonna be dead yet sighted for because although we we know the switch the nintendo switch and nintendo said and i know we be on third party game um even though they are first party game nintendo could just say right nobody is releasing or mating game for the switch and they can just release their own game made by Nintendo. And they will just do just fine. We, I may have led on my free um, anticipated game that was um, Super Mario Maker 2, Link Awakening, and that was um, Assassin's Creed um, 3 Remad. And two, uh, two out of my three anticipated games were owned by Nintendo. And probably would do more than some of the mainline games what are not owned by Nintendo. And yeah, so it will make as it will make sense to release Acra um on the Sidon. Like my sort of venture ago and I know that it's to make gaming affordable to anybody. Gaming is not the some sort of rick activity where only the rick kid do to sort of in to sort of in to sort of in shed them why did they go and ball gaming that saddle to anybody now that and might as well want to even make it more saddle with at car might as well know anybody got a phone so they're gonna release it on that car now we already seen Xbox Live come to the Switch. Um, come to the Switch. You play Minecraft. Um, the um, the Brav Brav Edition or what? I can't remember. The, the you can uh, sign to you might sign to your Xbox account and um, Xbox Live achievement with that account and it will go to all your finish 
We also saw they would deploy any web program on PC with a Windows 10 or Mac PC. So yeah, I can get um, and you can also do it with a Microsoft phone um, if you really wanted to. So I would get in in Microsoft did do Game Pass and that crap. That Game Pass will be included in Game Pass. That Game Pass will be included in that crap. That bot Live will be included in Game Pass, but a lot of money will a lot of money because oh, my is not gonna be able to get the big developer like um I might as well gonna get Destiny, Anthem, Fallout, Call of Duty, Battlefield on there. I might as well really gonna do that. I might as well I gonna have other company support it. Can I transfer my Nintendo Switch data, what I did on Division, to my Xbox um, One concert or whatever? And how would Sony react to this? As could only Sony got to react. It, it two third of the giant gaming company are teaming up with Microsoft and then Sony had got to react. He did it a four. So Finn, Epoch Game Pad is a hundred and twenty pound a month. A hundred and twenty pound a month. So take that and that a hundred and twenty pound a year. Take Epoch like go at sixty quid onto that. You got a hundred and eighty pound. I maybe five five decent game and they include Legend of Jedi. Super Mario Odyssey, um, Lin Awakening, Assassin Creed, and Super Mario Maker 2. Five games, but cut 200, so we said, what was the five? Um, yeah, it was a one, 180. So let's put that up to 380. So that 380 pound. Now let's say you had to pay with this Scarlet thing. So let's say it all included. Um, so you, it all included and it, um, cover about, a, it cover about, um, you get Gamepad, um, no, you get, um, Scarlet and Lion Game. Let's say all that included come to a van, let's say 150 pound. So we would have 380, add the 100, that would be 480. Then add the 10, that would, so it would be 540. Then let add Nintendo Online membership, 20 quid, 540, 25, 60. That is a lot of money. That is a lot of money to cadder a game. That is a lot of money to people who can only afford one sixty dollar game a month. Put they had to pay online membership to enjoy. Put they had to pay for season pass in micro transaction and all that. Like it optional, but more game require it now. So what I think that is a good thing, where the idea of gaming and where gaming is going forward, is all hardware. It all how can we make us uh, not hardware, but also serve it to deliver to other cons? How can we get the amazing game we are outside the PlayStation Xbox? or Nintendo ecosystem. How can we get there? Because at the end of the day, company make the game for money. And if they can find a game, if they can find a way, like Ekra where you just have to download a PS software or a PS application on your game console, your PC, your tablet or your smartphone, 
They would do that. They would do that. They wouldn't care if it was streaming where why buffering they would do that so and and another another problem in the league um is that um bando kazooie in not only that probably come through the red cross server not only couldn't feed the playstation so um the gamepad server it actually getting a full Remade on Switch. So one of the Xbox title it actually coming on. Now I know my I know Phil Spencer don't like XCC and I don't like XCC content and we said the same but but getting away of XCC what a baby crab bandicoot for Xbox that is pressure and and as soon as you're gonna do that when you're starting on that gen and when you're gonna start on that gen and say oh you know what we're getting to switch people are not gonna like that couldn't all the gen where couldn't all the gen where it all be like sony won because of the uh ryan g you don't got a war and all that um e and couldn't all the gem with might is all so devoted to the like it will be another thing that you could play um X let's call it X, X spot X crowd on X spot crowd and you can play banjo cause you feed that but uh, another thing to put in a full remad there and just put it on the I'm not saying I won't like it, but many of the and the um many of the the um Xbox consumer base won't like it. So I think the future of gaming is how can we get gaming to anybody? How can we get gaming from what you to come from wealthy com country to poor country? How can we get gaming in the heart and everybody talking about gaming at the dinner table? Because that what Nintendo switched it and that what my son need to do. Um, and also that what my son is doing. So I'm really, I'm really excited to see where that gen go because it'd be like, my son at one hand would be fighting for Crabbe. Nintendo would just be doing what Nintendo do with it, making Mario game, Animal Crossing game, I so want that to happen. Um, and Mario Maker too. And PlayStation is not even showing up at E3. Like, they're like, E3 must be too lame for them. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Section. But let me know where you think hardware and software and gaming is going in your eye. Is it going streaming bay? More hardware? And let me know. And also guys, I want to add like tech to the channel. I saw a minute to do that. But I want to add like tech to the channel. Whether that new pro about that or tech to the channel. Because um, Samsung just unveiled their Samsung Fit Phone and I want to talk about it and why I'm thinking how to present it in the video to you I've been also thinking about adding technology and tech to the channel so now I am a big tech fan and talking to you about tech in the video and I am taking IT for my GTRG uh, for my GCIG qualification and my dad um, is a big tech fan and he worked in the IT department so yeah I want to add tech to the channel maybe not today maybe not in two months but Sunday on Sunday did you I want to add tech to the channel so we'll see my name has been Gaddy in the gamer or Bay. 
let me know what you guys think of the topic in the comment section we discuss whether running X X bottom X juicy game through X crowd through X crowd or something like that or whether it's a fat out potter than other or whether it's a fat out potter than other or or whether I should bring tech to guardian again. Let me know and I will see you guys soon.